Question number eight to the Honorable Minister of Health, Wellness and the Environment. What is being done to address the problem with the cemetery at London, Sandy Bay, which was damaged by flooding, leaving bodies exposed and thereby posing a health risk and desecration of the deceased. Minister of Health. Speak, honorable members. I am happy to answer this question, although I should point out that responsibility for cemeteries falls under local government within the Ministry of Transport, Works, Urban Development, and Local Development. However, there is naturally a role for the Ministry of Health, Wellness, and the Environment to play from the standpoint of process supervision and ensuring compliance with health and safety requirements. I made it my business to personally visit the cemetery over the weekend with a team from the ministry to get up to date on the current situation there in preparing to answer this question. I always like first-hand information. I was able to have helpful on-site discussions with the Honourable Minister of Housing and the Parliamentary Representative for North Windward and Bishop Mel Melford Pompey who works with local government in North Windward and has responsibility for cemeteries. By way of background, the initial damage to the cemetery was done by rushing water associated with torrential rains that fell on November 29, 2016. The rainfall exposed coffins and human remains. There was a quick response from stakeholders during the course of which the exposed graves were covered and plans for major restoration work and the identification of a new cemetery site initiated. In recent times, additional rainfall has caused one coffin to become exposed without creating a major public health concern. The situation can be summarized as follows. One, the Attorney General has advised on the legal procedure to be followed for the disinterment and then reinterment, both technical terms, of the bodies and given the green light from the standpoint of the law. The Cabinet on October 4, 2017 mandated a group of public servants to meet under the chairmanship of the Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Health, Wellness and the Environment, Mr. Cutbutt Knights, to discuss the possible relocation of the Sandy Bay Cemetery. The other members of the group are public health officials, the Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Transport and Works, the local government officer, the Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Housing, the Chief Surveyor, and the Director General of Finance and Planning, or his nominee. There was a consideration of several possible sites for a new cemetery. In the end, the decision was taken to simply expand the cemetery onto an adjoining piece of land, which is actually part of the cemetery property, but which has never been used and which was separated from the current site of active burial by a small water channel. Bragsa has been asked to open up access to this adjoining piece of land and to do light surface works to clear the way for the use of this new site. Five, the use of the new site is a short-term solution. We anticipate that in three to five years' time, there will be a need for additional burial space. Six, the restoration work at the old cemetery site will be, sub will be simultaneously carried out. Seven, the number of perfection. We expect that within two months, the problem of compromised graves at London Sandy Bay would be comprehensively addressed and that the old cemetery site would be restored and protected from flooding. This will be treated as a matter of urgency. Thank you.